Sorry to hear about Carmen. He was a good man. Yeah, he lived with the person 21 years, then one day they're pulling his torso out of the river. It's hard. I'll bet. Especially with all that talk saying that you put him there. That's why I try not to gossip, Paul. It's ugly. Just a sec. Michelle! Teresa! Get your asses down here! It's 10 o'clock! Get ready for ballet! It's hard being a single parent and a career woman. Yeah, I'm sure you're very busy. <laughs> the pressure, it's awful. Uh, for instance, some people think now that you're out, you're going to try and take the family back from me, but I said, no, Paul would never do that. <clears throat> By the way, how are Marie and the kids? Still in Ohio? In Shaker Heights? At a one, three, five, six level? Don't go near them, you crazy bitch. Don't make me call my guys in. You may need the shit kicked out of you, but not in here. I just mocked. Wow. You been working out? Yeah, I've been working out on who's trying to kill me. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. It's a doggy dog world out there. Mm. Nobody's going to be safe until we can end this thing with the Ragazis. Wait, so you didn't have nothing to do with it? Oh, Paul, you think I would actually try and kill you? After all we've been through together, the Christmas parties, fun times on the beach. It wouldn't be right. I want us to be friends. Who knows, maybe even more than friends. You want to lick my beater? Thanks, but I gotta go see this guy about a business thing. Kind of business. You know, if you get something going, we would expect some kind of consideration, a little taste. No, it's a legitimate business. Oh, Paul. I just gotta chill. I'm just trying to be left alone. Put my life back together. Straight out my life. <sighs> Put the word out, will you? Nobody's got nothing to worry about from me. Sure, Paul. I understand. Don't be a stranger.